In this video, we're going to come up with a formula for, for the volume of this barrel. Uh, this barrel is really part of uh, an ellipsoid. It's really part of an ellipsoid where you cut it at a height of h, and then you cut it at a height of negative h. Um, the, the radius of this circle is capital R. The radius of this circle is small r. So we've seen an equation of this form would give us an ellipsoid. We've seen this in the past. So our job really is to find a, b, and c, where it would give us an equation for this ellipsoid. Okay, so so um, so looking look, looking at this circle here, uh, when when you look at this circle here, you're really setting uh, setting z to be zero. So put zero into the z. So when you put zero into the z, you're really looking at a plane at a height of zero. So that's really you looking at this um, this big circle here. So when you put zero into the z, this whole thing here will disappear, giving you giving you this thing here. Now looking at this circle here. Um, well, if in, in the y direction, you can see that this is this is capital R. In the x direction, you will know that this is also capital R. R. We're not looking at a, at a uh, at a barrel where you have an ellipse kind of um, a cross section. We are looking at a circular cross section, not not an ellipse. So you know that this a must be equal to this b. And then looking looking at this circle here. If you make this to be capital R, uh, well, looking at this circle here, you know that that um, that's anything of this form here, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. You know that this thing here will then give you a circle like this, where the radius is r. And well, the point I'm trying to make here is that this a here must be the same as b. So if you put one into the a, one into the b, it will satisfy. The first part, which is this circle here. So, so the first part would be would be this. Well, our first part would be this x squared plus y squared um, plus uh, z squared over c squared equals r squared. So that's the first part done. We still need to find we still need to find this c. So this is our first part here. This first part here is done, but we still need to find this c. We need to find a c here where it will satisfy. The, the whole the whole ellipsoid. So we need to find the c. So now um, now let x equal zero. So when, when when you let x equal zero, you're really doing this. Imagine this to be one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. When when you put um, when you put x equal zero, you're really looking at a a vertical sheet of paper here. here. Here, x equals 3, x equals 2, x equals 1, x equals negative 1, and so on. So when you put x equals 0, you're really looking at a vertical plane located at x equals 0. So on this on this um, vertical plane, um, it will look something like this. On this vertical plane, it will look something like this. Hang on. So when you put z, when you put x equals zero on this vertical plane, it will look like this: z, y, and then it will look like this. So this is your barrel here. Um, so be, because we, we've we've put x equals zero, so we're looking at a, a flat surface now, where where this thing here is z, this is y. So um, so our job is to find this c here. Our job is to find c. But we want to make it in such a way that when it's at a height of h, when it's at a height of h, we want this distance to be small r. The, yeah. So the next part is is to um, to somehow make it so that when it's at a height of h, the, this distance here must be small r. So when it when it's, uh, when it's at a height of h, that means you put h into the z because z is a height, the height of this barrel. So you um, you put h into this uh, z here that will then give you this thing here and then um, and then y remember y is really in this direction y is in this direction y in our case y in our case is actually small r because this is in the y direction the radius the small radius is in the y direction so to find to find this c we will put small r into the uh, into the y we will put the h into the z here don't forget we let x equal zero here. Uh, then that th this whole thing here 
will then take us to here. This will then allow us to find C here. This, so we can make, rearrange it to make C the subject. So C, uh, so C squared equals this thing here. Okay, so now, now we can put it back in, we can put C squared back into here. So, uh, so this whole thing here will then become, will then become this. So this is the equation of an ellipsoid. That's the first part. I will continue in the next video. Okay.